In this video, I will be showing the results for my Division B benchmark build. The purpose of a benchmark build is to let teams know what I consider to be a very good score for this season and to provide design inspiration if needed. In future videos, I will show my optimization process and build techniques on how I achieved this specific build, but for now, this is intended to show what is possible for you to compare your designs and builds against. Here you can see the Bumi right before testing having a mass of 7.401 grams and set up on the autoloader ready to be tested. You can see from the testing wall that this is a bonus attempt, so to get the extra 5 kilograms of mass held, it will need to hold over 15 kilograms. This is the live testing of the Bumi. I have well over 15 kilograms in the autoloader as I want to test this to failure no matter what. During a real competition, the maximum load shouldn't be over 15.2 kilograms. You can hear the sand pouring into the bucket at a fairly fast rate. After the first few seconds, I like to go quickly to minimize the amount of time the device is under load. If you watch carefully, you can see the compression member starting to bend. The internal loads of this event are very high and are quite challenging to deal with. That was quite an explosion. It held 15.782 kilograms, and if you do the math, that means the tension loading was just over 45 kilograms, and the compression member was supporting nearly 43 kilograms of load when it broke. I have the high-speed camera recording at just over 3,500 frames per second to try and capture what is going on with these violent failures. Since this boomy held over 15 kilograms, it achieved the bonus mass held, so its competition score is 15,000 plus 5,000 divided by the mass of 7.401 grams, or 2,702.3. If I freeze the video right at the moment of failure, you can see that the back compression beam is failing first. Because it held over 15 kilograms, but not much over 15 kilograms, I probably wouldn't look to lower that mass by too much. I will talk much more about the optimization process and details in future videos. As the video continues, even at 3500 frames per second and played back at half speed, the rest of the destruction happens very quickly. My testing wall is made from 3 quarter inch maple plywood and you can see it bend back after the break, again showing how much force is involved during these tests. I hope this benchmark build gives you inspiration this season showing the types of scores that are possible. Please don't hesitate to reach out to share your results with me. I'd love to hear about your high scores. Good luck this season and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any of my future content.